thanks for coming back. You know, the 700 mod sled's all done. Now I gotta get to this 600 XLT and that 540 LAN. We're gonna poke around on this today, take care of some issues. I've got these really cool trailing arms, chromoly with an aluminum shaft here, nice and lightweight. Picked them up, you know, I don't even think they've been used. Just a little bit of shelf wear on them. Gonna swap them out, put them on the XLT, lose some more pounds, you know, I like to do that. Gonna show you how, hopefully we can get these old rusty things off this side. You know, I already put the trailing arm on the other side because sometimes it helps out with the editing and you know, makes things a little quicker if I know what I'm up against. So that side's already done. Gonna show you what I'm gonna do here and then we're gonna poke around underneath the cab. Gotta get that all done. Big shout out to the boys at backcountryrebels.com, a great forum. You know, I love to hang out on all the forums and some are a little nicer to hang out than others. And the Backcountry Rebels, well, it's just a bunch of guys sitting around talking about sleds. Good place to come and find all kinds of information get the latest update and info on conditions in your area. Lots of vendors on there with some pretty cool products, so make sure you check out backcountryrebels.com. I know, trailing arms, old school. No way arms on this. Sometimes these are hard to get off. I put the ratchet gun on this and I gave her a good little turn and popped off no problem. That's a 5 8 inch wrench. Pop that off. The rubber bushing in this thing was toast anyway. You gotta make sure you come in and you clean this kind of stuff up. 14 millimeter wrench will take care of this. If you can't get that bolt out, just turn it sideways. Pop it right out. You should mark this, that way you'll know where that ski leg goes back onto this arm. Not some bolts in the box, that way you're not gonna lose anything, right? I've told you that before. There, that came off actually pretty easy. Sometimes they're seized on there pretty good, but we got it. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm not sure if I showed you this last time, but I did cut off the sway bar. Now, it does lighten it up by about five or seven pounds, but you just gotta keep in mind that if you're on a trail and you're riding on there, you're not gonna have that sway bar to help you turn around the corner. So, I took it off because I'm mainly playing the powder. I want that extra weight gone. But I'll tell you, when I do hit the trails for short periods and when I go to turn, that front corner wants to dip down and I don't get the real cornering like I should. That's just the price you pay. So if you want to play on the trails, don't cut the sway bar off. There is a noticeable weight difference in these. Probably two, three pounds. Say bye bye. In a nutshell, installation is pretty much the reverse of what it was. Now there is a, an adjustable heim joint on this, which I kind of like. Gives it a little bit more movement. There's no rubber bushing in there to wear out. That's pretty sweet. Now, I'm not gonna tighten everything up right from the start because you know, some of these things are a little tricky to get into place if they're all really tight. So I'm just gonna pop them in, put the nuts on. And I'll tighten everything up when everything's installed. Check all these bushings here to make sure they're not worn out. If they are, just replace them. Pretty simple, easy to do. And one thing I did notice is that if I just mounted this right up against there without using any spacers, the arm is gonna come in contact with the belly pan. So I'm just gonna pop three washers in behind there. And one on this side. that through. Just a little bit of room. One thing you'll notice is that the old bolt is much longer. But that's because at the end of the trailing arm it was a lot thicker. So I just had to go and get myself a new bolt and we're good to install. This still might seem close to the belly pan but as the ski is forced up the arm is going to go out because of the length of the radius rods and it's not gonna come in contact with that. That's nice and tight. Those old arms look pretty good on there. 100 bucks used on the internet, it's a pretty good deal. You know, I just freed up four or five pounds off the old XLT. She's gonna love me for it. Gonna have some more fun in the powder with it. Make sure you come back and check it out. You know, I gotta clean the carbs up, change the jetting a little bit. 
and check the chain case, make sure the chain is tensioned right, a bunch of other little things. So, so thanks for watching. Make sure you come back and check out my other videos.